Hi, this is Janet with the White House Public Library, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Libby app. If you're on a computer, you'll go to your Microsoft Store. On an Android device, you'll use your Google Play Store. On an Apple device, your Apple Store. And on your Kindle device, you'll go through your Amazon Store. Once you're logged into your store, let's go to the search bar, and we're going to type in Libby and it should come up Libby by Overdrive. When that opens, we're gonna click on Install. Once your app has finished downloading, let's click on Launch or Open. First question, do you have a library card? We're going to click Yes, and then let's do I'll search for a library. Enter your zip code, and we're gonna select Tennessee Reads, Red River Region, White House Public Library. It will ask again for choose a location, scroll down to White House Public Library and select it. This is where we'll enter our library card number, which is on the back of your White House library card. When you enter the number in, it is one WHI. It's very important that when you enter that, the WHI must be in uppercase letters or it will not work. Then enter your remaining numbers. Click Sign In. This screen will ask you to rename your card. I have named mine White House Public Library. This will be important for those people that have multiple cards attached to their Libby account. Just click Rename Card and put the name that you would like to attach to this card and click Save. Go to Next. Okay, now we are logged into our account. Let's click on Preferences. Within Preferences, you can change your format if you want books only or audio books, or you can select any. Today, we're going to select books. You can also change your language, your audience, and your compatibility. The one that I like is the availability. This allows you to search for everything, or if you're wanting a title to check out immediately, you can select Available Now. This will only search for books that are available for immediate checkout. You now select Apply Preferences. On your preferences, once you set your preferences, that will be set for all future searches. So at any time that you want to change that, you do need to go back into preferences and change the options to the search that you will be using now. We're going to change this back to everything and apply preferences. Now that we have set our preferences, let's select a book to borrow. As I said, some titles say place hold, and then the others that are available will now say borrow. So we're going to click on borrow. You can set your borrowing time by clicking on the 21 days. You can set to borrow for seven days, 14 days, or 21 days. 21 days is the preference I have set in my read account, so it will default to 21 days. We're going to click Borrow, and if you do notice on your account, it will tell you how many loans you ha currently have. You are allowed up to 15 loans at one time and 15 holds at one time. So select Borrow. Okay, our item is downloaded. You can now go to Open Book, Keep Browsing, or Go to Shelf. In your shelf, you will now be able to look at the loans that you have any books that you have checked out, your holds, if you have books on hold, they will show here, and tags are for items that you would like to read later. You can place a tag on them and that will put them in under tags like a wish list. Your books are now ready to start reading. Click on open book and enjoy. If you have any questions on the information we have went over, please call the library at 615 672 0239 and ask for Janet. Thank you.